The 2023 Discovery Awards finalists for the Public Impact Award, presented by Research Nova Scotia. The problems that we are trying to solve with our technologies is really trying to create faster, better diagnoses for this province's patients. What inspired me to do medical imaging is my dad. My dad was a medical imaging physicist at the St. John Regional Hospital, and when he was on call when I was a kid, I thought a fun thing to do was to get to go hang out in his lab on a Saturday morning. In the work that we do, I try and be at the center of interdisciplinary collaborative groups involving clinicians, frontline healthcare workers, engineers, artificial intelligence scientists, and so on, bringing this team together so that we can all work to create next generation solutions to our healthcare problems. One thing that people might not appreciate about the work that we do here, companies from around the world come here to Nova Scotia to want to partner with us in our healthcare system. I'm proud of the work that we do because it is having an impact for our province's patients today. The work that I do is really around creating supportive environments for chronic disease prevention. So that's really work that recognises that healthy behaviour is actually abnormal behaviour and we want to change that around and make it so that the healthier choice is the easier choice. What we are looking for in the work that I'm doing is how do we keep people healthy, how do we prevent the diseases developing and the best time to do that is in children. Supporting children and youth in schools to create a healthy environment really resonates with parents, with teachers and with other members of the community because say healthy kids learn better and they do better in the future. The Uplift Partnership is probably the project that I am most proud of in my career. It's a school community university partnership. Those young people when they are given the opportunity to have their voices heard and they're given the agency to actually enact something in their school system, they move mountains, they really do. Nova Scotia has been a leader in a restorative approach for a couple of decades and really is seen internationally almost like a learning lab as we try to think about what does justice require of us and how can we do right by one another. Part of what a restorative approach to justice does is to help us see that justice requires more than just paying attention to what law was broken. We've been able to think about some of the larger challenges of our historic and systemic problems, including developing the first restorative approach to a public inquiry to respond to the historic harms in the Nova Scotia Home for Colored Children. It brings me incredible joy to see the lab be a place where members of the public and the community will come and say, we want to try something. We want to do something different to solve their problems in a way that's going to build a better future for Nova Scotia. 